Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Casual, and this is going to be a really short video, and we're going to talk about how Francis Ngannou might be joining Bare Knuckle. So let's get into it. So I was watching a couple of YouTube videos, and at first I thought it was like fake news or something. I was like, this can't be real. Like, this can't be real. Like, Ngannou joining Bare Knuckle will be insane, because we all know Ngannou, like, knocks people out and has the hardest punch in the world, and he knocks people out with, like, with just regular MMA gloves. Imagine Ngannou and Bare Knuckle. He'll knock everybody out and make a boatload of money, and it'll just be insane. So... On this, so the founder of Bare Knuckle, um, his name is David Feldman. So I'm, I'm just starting to get into Bare Knuckle. I'm not like an expert or anything. I'm just casual, you know. But David Feldman basically said this. I'm quoting him. I'm not sure if he's out of the window yet, but we're definitely making a play for him. At that stage, you're talking about money, right? And if we can back that kind of money up, we're in the game. And that's when he was talking to Ariel Hawane. And he also said after that, I don't think we're out of the game for anything right now. To be honest with you, we have a good partner that we just partner with that likes to think outside the box, likes to disrupt things as we do. And I think that there's a great opportunity for us to get the biggest name and best names out there, which is true. You know, Bare Knuckle got a couple of people from the UFC, but like they're getting, I don't want to say like they gain like the bottom that's here, but they usually like Bare Knuckle is like getting retired fighters usually. Then I usually Bare Knuckle is like kind of like belts or they get like retired UFC fighters that no longer are that great in the UFC who are like on a two or three, four fight losing streak. And usually Bare Knuckle takes them just like Bellator takes them. This would be like like one of the first times that they would take like a current heavyweight champion um, of the UFC or just a current champion of the USC. That's not, not a former champion, but a current champion of the USC and convert him to Bare Knuckles. I'm not sure how many fights Ngannou has left on his contract. I think he had like one or two, one left. I think he just, that was against Cyril Gan. Don't quote me on that. And I don't know the exact details, but I think like, it, you know, Bare Knuckle wouldn't release this news unless they were close to getting, you know, Ngannou. So, and, and like, you know what I mean? Because I just created, like, a whole bunch of hype. Now everyone's like, oh, my God, Ngannou's going to, you know, that created, like, a craze. Like, oh, my God, Ngannou's going to join Bare Knuckle. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Like, you know? Because who wouldn't want to watch Ngannou fight with Bare Knuckle, you know, Bare Knuckle boxing? You know, that would be ridiculous, you know? It was just, like, I don't even know who, who they, like, honestly, could you picture, like, someone's like, hey, hey, Mr. Casual, whoever, you know, like, hey, Sir, I'll give you half a million dollars um, to fight Ngannou. Or here, here's a million dollars fighting Ngannou. Would you step in the ring to fight Ngannou for half a million dollars? Bare knuckle boxing? Like, like picture someone pay me half a million dollars to fight Ngannou. Obviously, I'm not a fighter, but let's it's hypothetically, right? Someone said, hey, here's a million dollars fighting Ngannou. Okay, I got a million dollars for fighting him to get knocked out by Ngannou, basically. I'm going to have brain damage after that. Who's going to agree to fight Francis Ngannou bare knuckle boxing and possibly suffer like life life term brain damage and like not be able to function and possibly be a vegetable for the rest of your life you know because like i i actually believe and not only that in Bernal, i heard they don't even like test you like that so you, did, you know steroids could be in there too imagine and gone imagine if francis imagine like you know i'm just saying so like like, like who would agree to fight francis for any kind of money like i know like a million dollars half a million dollars is like life altering money but, but would you like fight francis that, that should be like a question would you fight francis you know for half a million a million dollars to get brain damage and then being like a vegetable a wheelchair the rest of your life i don't know it's just it's just insane the fact that he went the bare knuckle boxing route i i heard france was going the boxing route i i for some reason i thought he was in the fight fury but i was like you know francis injured both his knees maybe that's out of the question now and plus i thought that was, they were just chirping back and forth the fury thing the france thing i, I didn't really think i was gonna happen but i definitely never expected the bare knuckle thing like you know me and my friends, we still always talk about, like, imagine Francis and Bare Knuckle, you know? Could you imagine? And plus, a lot of, like, retired UFC fighters are getting, they've been saying they're getting paid more in Bare Knuckle than they've ever gotten paid in the UFC. Like, Chad Mendes said that, and a couple other, and I, someone else said that, I forgot who. But they said they got they got paid more money in Bare Knuckle than they've got paid in, in the UFC, you know? So, Francis is looking for more money, and this is the perfect opportunity. So, God willing, you know, like, Francis ends up joining Bare Knuckle and starts making more money. But at the same time, it's also sad because he's still a, the, the champion of the, the the UFC for the heavyweight division. So it's like, like what is he going to leave, like do some GSP shit where he leaves and then comes back later on and then people are just going to be fighting for the interim belt? Is that what's going to happen with the, UFC, with the UFC belt? Or is Francis going to fight in the UFC and Baron Is Are they allowed to do that? Like, I don't know how the contracts work. Like, like what's Francis going to do, you know? Stay in the UFC or fight in both divisions or leave the UFC, fight in Baron and then come back later, you know, to... Like, because Francis leaves, it's gonna be like Cyril Gan and John Jones. Then we'll never see John Jones versus, you know, Ngannou. If if, if Ngannou leaves to Bare Knuckle, that's a, that's a sad part. So it's like the good and the bad, you know. 
So it's like, I, I don't know. It's like, I want to be happy, but at the same time, it's sad because I want to see John Jones versus Ngano. And I want to, and a couple other fights, you know. But, anyways, anyways, guys, me, and Mr. Casual, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please, like, subscribe, guys. I'm really trying to, you know, get more subscribers. I really appreciate if you guys subscribe. But take care, guys, and be safe, all right? Thank <laughs> you.